Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel and I got another one of these relationship talks video that I'm doing for the channel today and um, I know I do my recaps but here and there I do what is called relationship talks. I did a couple last year and usually when it's kind of slow with the different shows we'll have a bunch of them start next week. I like to insert some of these relationship conversations. So there's a debate that's going on about what do you bring to the table, the two people that are looking to get involved in a relationship. And there's been a ton of different responses to this question. So we're going to talk about this today. But first, I kind of want to let you see what everybody else is tending to have to say, and then we'll talk about it. Asks you. What do you bring to the table? What did you hear him just say? You say when guys ask you what you bring to the table, I'll go first. You say nothing. You do not engage. Your thoughts on what do you bring to the table debate. Well, why is it a debate? It's about partnership. When it comes to dating, there are three questions that you should ignore. The first question being, what is your body count? The second question, what do you bring to the table? And the third question, what are you looking for in a man? What do I bring to the table? Excellent question. I am the table. That's you fast tracking everything. If you're not hiring me for a job, why am I answering to you what I bring to the table? Either the question I've actually got for Deborah is, what exactly do you bring to the table? I like it. Did I start? What do y'all bring to the table besides sex? And don't say the table. A good time. Convers good, part, good conversation. I can't talk. Just because you got something to bring to the table does not mean that it's fit for consumption. See, the first thing that people want to talk about when they're entering into new relationships is, I got something to bring to the table. How men ever think that we give two shits about, like, oh, what you bring to the table? You see me. What do I bring to the table? Excellent question. I am the table. Ladies, what do you bring to the table? I am the table. Okay, we are back. So let's talk about this because I don't know, but this has been something that has been really going back and forth with this debate, I would say, fairly recently. I've seen a ton of other content creators talk about this and conversations that was had about this subject and I kind of wanted to talk about it with you guys and then of course you get to drop your you know your comments down in the comment section okay so one thing I will say about because I've never had an issue myself with that question when somebody asked it I never got it offended or any of the sort okay and I'll tell you why in a minute but if you look at life in general, there are a lot of things that pretty much in life, things are transactional, right? So even as early as children going into kindergarten, before they're admitted, there are some things that they have to present before they're admitted into school. What is that? Birth certificates. And you got to bring in and sit down in front of a registration uh, person birth certificate, immunization records, and all of these different things. So what are you doing? You're bringing something in order to show that this person is ready to be admitted into kindergarten, right? All right, let's fast forward a little bit more. So now we're getting ready to go into high school. One of the things they look at is, did you pass the constitution test in seventh grade? Uh, another thing that they look at is your test scores, you know, your grades, your GPA. And especially if you're going to a private school, you have to test in to see if your grades or your scores are going to allow you to be admitted into, you know, that particular institution, right? So you have to bring and show something to say, okay, I should be able to flourish in this institution and they have to accept you for what you bring as you sit across from an admissions person and sit at their table, correct? Okay, moving forward, let's talk about college. There's things such as not only GPA, ACT scores. Now I know probably recently I've heard they're getting, getting rid of those, I think, but ACT scores, SAT scores, 
your GPA, you got to have requirements as for, you know, how many Englishes, four years of English, three years of math, so many years of science, so many years of language. Those things you got to show and prove. And especially if you're talking about a higher level institution or Ivy League university, your ACT scores and SAT scores have to be at a minimum. There's a minimum that you have before you can sit across from somebody and say, hey, I should be here or let me in or I'm an applicant. And then, of course, they look at what you bring to see if that's something that say, okay, fine, we can accept you into our institution. And on the flip side, we'll provide you with the whatever the education or the major that you're looking for, right? Okay. I mean, that's something that's been going on for a very long time. However, it seems that when it's coming down to dating, a lot of people are having issues with that question. Now, as you probably saw in several of those clips, a lot of the folks were saying, I am the table. I am the table. Not just the fact that some of them didn't even think it was an appropriate question, but some of them were like, I am the table. First of all, let's deal with the fact of whether that's an appropriate question. You're talking about two people who are getting into an arrangement or relationship that you have to pretty much interact with besides your work pretty much a large percentage of your time so if i'm going to be in your life and you're going to be in my life i need to know and i would hope you would need to know what we're bringing into each other's life because there's a livelihood that comes from the relationship that you are creating the relationship livelihood is the table. The two people coming to it is putting things on it. So what do you bring? What is your personality? How do you deal with things? Are you a person that is reactive? Are you not a person that is reactive? How do you deal when things go wrong? Are you a person that's the fix it person or do you go and hide in the cave? Are you the type of person who is goal oriented or you, maybe you're the type of person that is, you know, um, pretty much content with the way your life is going. You have to know what you're bringing into that other person's life, because the thing is, when you put two people together who, especially if you're getting married, if you're going in the direction of a long term relationship or you're getting married. You have to know what you're bringing into that person's life and what they're bringing into your life. Now, remember, there's outside of the fact that do you want kids? Do I want kids? Do we not want kids? Do you? I don't want kids either. You know, whatever the conversation is to be had, that has to be put into this one person on each side of that table, which is the proverbial relationship livelihood to say is this something that we want to do are you the type who is athletic are you the type that is a vegan are you the type that is pescatarian what are your habits do you smoke do you not smoke i'm a i'm not not me i'm not a smoker but if a person said well hey i'm a smoker are you a smoker no i can't stand it the smell drives me insane whatever the situation is. Those are things that each one of you are bringing to the table. Now, here's the other thing. Besides the finances, besides what you can do with at the house, with traveling and all of that, there's a whole nother subset of things that you also bring to the table. And for those who, and I always talk about on this channel, therapy is so important. Are you bringing past traumas with you? Because, as I said in a video that I did a couple days ago with Ready to Love, if you have past traumas that you have not dealt with and you move into this next relationship, you should get those things taken care of and fixed before you bring that and put that on to this person who had absolutely nothing to do with it. It's not fair. 
So there's a lot of things you bring to the table. Not only the good things, you bring your past in some cases if you haven't dealt with it. That needs to be said. There are smaller things as well. Are you the type of person who snore at night? I mean, because even in the dating stage, we do have people that sleep over and do different things like that. Are you the type of person who, um, for example, maybe need a light on or a fan on at night, you know, or do you toss and turn? Now, of course, those types of conversations come later, but for those folks that's like, I am the table, why are you asking me that? It's because if you're going to build a livelihood into a relationship, you have to know what a person is bringing into your life and you have, they have to know what you're bringing into their life, good or bad. You know, so I, me, myself, when I was dating, you know, I'm in a relationship, but Even when I started that relationship, that was a conversation that we had. We needed to know what comes with me. What comes with you? If we're going to be in this and try to make a relationship happen and have this great livelihood, nothing's perfect. You're going to have its ups and downs. It's how you work through them. That's a whole nother video. But you have to know what comes with you. you. Do you have children? Do you want children? Do you not have children? Do you have pets? Are you allergic to pets? I'm bringing a dog and a cat. Well, you know what? I'm allergic to dogs and cats. I'm a person that I'm allergic to shellfish. If you with somebody that isn't and they absolutely love being at the seafood boil, well, guess what? You're going to have to talk about that. You, you got a seafood lover sitting at the table and you got a person with a seafood allergy sitting at the table. Those are things that come with who you are. So I wanted to give my thoughts on it. I know everybody have their opinions and what they think about this subject. It's a pretty hot topic right now. Some people think, and I, I don't understand when somebody said, I am the table. It's like, okay, are you saying you're everything or what? I don't get it, but, you know, maybe you guys can explain what that means to me. But I wanted to share my thoughts in this regard because I've been seeing this and I'm like, well, wait a minute. Maybe I'm because I'm a little bit older. I see it differently. Maybe this is something with the generations, you know, behind me. I don't know, you know, but without rambling on, I just wanted to bring that to your attention and what, you know, what I what my thoughts were on it. And, you know, as I said, I like to do relationship talks. You know, you need to know what you bring. You need to know what that person is bringing into your life. And they need to know what you're bringing into their lives. And see if you guys can both be cohesive. And that table is the relationship livelihood that the two of you that's going to be in that relationship are building together. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Sound off in the comment section as you normally do. I enjoy, you know, reading you guys' thoughts and comments. And I usually either shoot you a heart or, um, you know, give you guys a reply. So, you know, make sure you drop some comments down there. I want to see what you think about this subject. Also, if you want um, us to talk about something on this channel, shoot me an email. Let me know. It's at romancereviewtv at gmail.com. Shoot me over an email and let me know if there's something that you want me to review that maybe we can talk about and have some dialogue with. So until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.